Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. This is a worse than zina. This sin is a sin that we commit every day, not realizing how grave and bad it can be and could affect to our lives. When you commit adultery, drink alcohol, or do not perform obligatory prayer, thus are very grave sins in Islam. May Allah protect us from such sins. We don't in any way say that they need to be committed. But when you have committed and it's already too late, if you repent sincerely to Allah, Allah forgives our sins and your sins too. Because Allah is forgiving and merciful. Allah informs us about this in Qur'an. Say, O Prophet, that Allah says, O my servants who have exceeded the limits against their souls, do not lose hope in Allah's mercy, for Allah certainly forgives all sins. He is indeed the all-forgiving, most merciful. This is before the third one does not connect to your sin. At the moment, when you offend another slander, insult, scold, and say obscene words about him, you are violating the rights of another person in Islam. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, said, He who has wronged his brother concerning his honor or anything else, let him ask for his pardon today before there comes a time when there will be neither a dinner nor a dirham. If he has good deeds, the amount equivalent to the wrong he has done will be taken from his good deeds and given to the one whom he has wronged. If he has no good deeds, then some of that person's bad deeds will be taken and loaded upon him. Sahih Bukhari. So, we'll get started. There are people who may never forgive you. Not everyone is forgiving. And it will remain as if it's duty for you until day of judgment. It's our own fault. Because sometimes we make life so difficult for others that we drive them to suicidal thoughts. And we think that this is how we will get rid of it. Do you think you are a good, fearing or religious person? No, never. Wouldn't you able to support them together? Wouldn't you able to make a reminder or make a dawa? Couldn't you tell them how merciful and merciful Allah is? So, that no matter what they did, they repented and their sins were erased? Couldn't you point out that all the bad and difficult days are a test from Allah, The Allah always helps? instead of offending them and leading them to suicide in some cases. Listen to what Allah Almighty says. O oh, believers, do not let some men ridicule others. They may be better than them. Nor let some women ridicule other women. They may be better than them. Do not defame one another, nor call each other by offensive nicknames. How evil it's to act rebelliously after having a faith. And whoever does not repent at this day, who are the true wrongdoers? O oh, believers, avoid many suspicions, for, indeed, some suspicions are sinful. And do not spy nor backbite one another. Would any of you like to eat the flesh of their dead brother? You would despite that and fear Allah. Surely Allah is the acceptor of repentance, most merciful. The Almighty God mentioned another duty of Muslims to each other and forbade mocking Muslims. This applies to all offensive words and sarcastic actions with which one Muslim can humiliate another. This is a great sin. And Islam strictly prohibits such treatment. This attitude towards people is usually caused by arrogance and complacency. But the one who was smoked by the smug proud man may be better than him. Don't even think of thinking badly about them right away. Umar ibn al-Hattab, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Don't think badly of the word that comes out of the mouth of your believing brother, if you see any good in him. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as saying, Don't nurse grudge and don't beat him out of raising the price and don't nurse aversion or enmity and don't enter into a transaction when the others have entered into the transaction and be as fellow brothers and servants of Allah. A Muslim is the brother of Muslim. He neither oppresses him nor humiliates him nor looks down upon him. The pity is here. And while saying so, he pointed towards his chest thrice. 
It's a serious evil for a Muslim that he should look down upon his brother Muslim. All things of a Muslim are inviolable for this brother in face, his blood, his wealth, and his honor. It's also forbidden to follow others to identify their lack or with bad thoughts. It's not necessary to insult them. It's not necessary to slander and say obscene words. Because the one who does this is like the one who eats the meat of his deceased brother. Narrated Abu Barza al-Aslami, the Prophet wasallam, said, O community of people who believe it by their tongue and believe did not enter their hearts, do not backbite Muslims and do not search for their faults. For if anyone searches for their faults, Allah will search for his fault. And if Allah searches for the fault of anyone, he disgraces him in his house. Narrated Anas ibn Malik. The Prophet wasallam said, When I was taken up to heaven, I passed by people who had nails of copper and were scratching their faces and their breasts. I said, Who are these people? Jabrail. He replied, So, they are those who were given to backbiting and who expressed people's honor. These are those who offended each other, Allah says, Woe to every backbiter slanderer. The backbiter insults with a word, and the offender insult with a dead. So, he humiliates people and shows arrogance towards them. Imam Ahmad reported from the words of Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. We were with the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, when the wine brought an unpleasant smell. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Do you know what the smell is? This is the smell of those who slander it behind the backs of others. And and if someone has offended you, it will be better for you to forgive him and respond with kindness. Respond with kindness and you will receive the mercy of Allah. Do good because Allah loves those who do good. Do not keep all the anger in yourself. Do not keep all the dirt that you have been told or slandered about you. Allah says, let them pardon and forgive. Don't you want to be forgiven by Allah? And Allah is all forgiving, most merciful, O oh, believers. Indeed, some of your spouses and children are enemies to you, so beware of them. But if you pardon, overlook and forgive their faults, then Allah is truly all-forgiving, most merciful. The Prophet wasallam said, It's not allowed for a Muslim to interrupt communication with his brother for a parody-ding three days. So, that's when they meet, they turn away from each other. The best of two will be the one who first greets the other. Be sure to write in the comments if you want to learn more about the sins of the tongue and to understand each type in more detail.